From Krakas, Venezuela, my name is Regan Devines. This is From the South. The Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries, OPEC, has decided to maintain cuts in oil production until March 2018. The decision came after member countries met in Austria to assess a 2016 decision to reduce oil output with the aim of pushing prices upward. However, apparent market disappointment saw Brent crude dropping a bit as investors had hoped for a longer extension to production cuts. Meetings will soon be held with non-OPEC countries to establish better cooperation and the path forward to push prices further upward. We are here to send a strong message to the market that we are very serious, serious to uh, have a stable market and uh, to for benefit of the uh, consumers and producers. Now we need to track several other topics. I mean. What prices favor the increased production? If we go increase production and, and the demand is not there, we will get back to the same situation that we had a year ago. So we don't want that. As we want to rebalance to stabilize the market. Violent protests in Venezuela are taking a toll on students there who have not been able to go to school. Faced with blocked roads, burning debris, and the violence that follows, Parents have opted to keep their children at home. The government says the protests are part of a violent effort to overthrow President Nicolas Maduro and undermine years of efforts to expand education services for the poor. The Brazilian government has revoked a presidential decree that deployed the army in the country's capital. Federal troops were deployed by President Michel Temer on Wednesday to guard the Congress and ministry buildings. This after protests against Temer and his austerity measures ended in violence. Ten squatter farmers were killed in the north of Brazil on Wednesday in what is believed to be a long-running conflict over land destined for agrarian reform. Initial reports indicate they were shot dead by local police acting on a court order to return the land to its previous owners. The Catholic Church says that prior to this incident, 26 people had been killed in land disputes in Brazil this year. Ecuador's new president, Lenin Moreno, traveled to the ancient city of Cocachqui to participate in a centuries-old indigenous inauguration ceremony. Moreno traveled alongside his Bolivian counterpart, Evo Morales, a day after he was officially sworn in in the capital city of Quito. Indigenous leaders offered prayers for the president's inauguration while musicians played traditional music. Non-governmental organizations are calling on G7 leaders to make concrete commitments on climate change. Uh, Friday's G7 summit will focus on Europe's migrant crisis as well as on seeking ways to develop Africa's economy. The activists want the leaders to commit to fighting humanitarian crises and to push US President Donald Trump to honor the Paris Agreement on climate change. We are demanding climate justice and we are urging G7 countries to ramp up their action to prevent catastrophic climate change. G7 leaders who will meet tomorrow here in Termina must send a strong signal to President Trump because it is not acceptable for him to not respect America's climate commitment. And finally, something fishy is going on in Brazil. Researchers in the state of Serra are experimenting with a new treatment for severe burns using the skin of tilapia fish. It is an unorthodox procedure. They say it can ease the pain of victims and cut medical costs. Tilapia is an abundant natural resource and its skin is rich in type 1 collagen, which is important for healing. More on these and other stories on our website, telesuitv.net slash English. For Telesuit English, I'm Regan Levine.